Hi, I'm Ria Dunkley and I'm a senior lecturer in geography, environment and sustainability at the University of Glasgow and I teach in the field of primary education. But I also do research in the field of environmental education and on community led engagement with climate change and sustainability. So why does this kind of social science need to be done? Well, it needs to be done because the latest report from the International Panel on Climate Change has shown that we are facing unprecedented rapid climate change, which means that urgent global action is needed to reach net zero in CO2 emissions as quickly as we possibly can. Achieving that is not just going to be about technological or nature-based solutions. It's also going to require a massive cultural shift and that could drive political action and the green innovation that's needed in these unprecedented times. And that's where education and community led action come in and of course citizen science, which is what we're looking at today. Because one of the ways that we can get conversations going about our relationship and impact on the wider environment is through citizen science. And that's why I set up Spot B in collaboration with colleagues from the School of Pharmacy at Cardiff University in 2016. Spot B is a project that you can contribute to through the Glasgow Science Festival this year, which I can tell you a little bit more about now. So when it's downloaded, you can submit photos of plants that attract bees to an app um, and you can get a good picture of what's going on in your garden and local area for both plants and bees. Your sightings will then be automatically uploaded to a map of plants and trees and the bees that like them all across the UK. So why are we doing this? Well, we're doing this for two main reasons. One is because we are interested in exploring how connecting to our local environment through bee spotting affects how we think and feel about local plants and about our bee neighbours. And two, we're gathering a data bank of flowers that are important to bees in urban environments. Why have we made these two things our focus then? Well, we've made these two things our focus because in the UK alone, many bee species are in decline. And that's partly due to the loss of our rich habitats and because of loss of plant diversity. So at the same time, many people in the UK, especially in towns, cities and suburban environments, can feel disconnected from nature. And that's because of the way that urban environments are designed, um, because of inequity of access, and also because of the pressures of modern livelihoods. So ultimately, encouraging people to spot bees on plants in their everyday environment brings benefits to both bees and people. But what even is citizen science, you might be wondering at this stage? Well, the important thing to know about citizen science is that it's a practice known as open science. And that means that it brings science into people's everyday lives. And anyone who is interested can contribute to scientific projects in fields ranging from geology to genetics. But why has it become so popular? Well, there are several reasons why people contribute in this age of the internet where there are a huge number of citizen science projects. But the ones, the motivations that have emerged so prominently within the projects I've looked at have included that some people love the thought of contributing directly to science. Others love just observing and learning about the places that they live and the other places that they visit. And then there are those people who seek to generate data to contribute to projects that tackle local and global environmental issues. And these motivations appear within all the, um, the records that we have in the comments section of our Spotter Bee community too. So since launching our Spotter Bee app in May 2020, the Spotter Bee web map that you can view on our website has gained over 11,000 photo record uploads. During the first lockdown, we saw a huge shoot in, in people participating. 
And we also posted out 500 spotter bee activity packs and seed packs to families across the UK, which was aimed to help young people who are stuck at home to learn more, a bit more about their local uh, environments as they were um, more focused on their home environments during that time. So for me, the best outcome so far has been seeing the community of bee spotters coming together. We help each other to identify bees and plants in our local contexts. And conversations are starting about bees and plants across the globe now because people have just started contributing from far and wide. So what have I covered here and um, what do I want to leave you with? Well, I've given you an overview of Spotter Bee, and I've also shared of how citizen science projects like Spotter Bee can contribute to environmental conservation in a variety of ways, both directly and indirectly. And I've also wanted to share with you how citizen science can play a role in deepening people's understanding of and connections to their local environments. And now there are a couple of choices for you in terms of things to do for Spotify. You could download the app from the App Store or Google Play and get started. At setting up your profile is the first step there. Then you can click on the big plus sign at the bottom of the app to contribute your sightings and start winning your bee spotting badges today. Secondly, you could also visit the Spot a Bee Buzz um, Spotify.bug buzz website where you can find out more about the project and view our real-time results and if you wanted to learn a lot more about identifying bees and plants you could try out some of the fun activities by downloading our learning pack from the website too it would be brilliant if we could put glasgow bees and plants on the map during the glasgow science festival so all that's left to say is Thank you, and please do get outside and get bee spotting. And if you do spot any bees, please share them with us on the app, but also on our social media sites, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, where we can be found at I Spot a Bee. And you could um, tag the Glasgow Science Festival within that too. Thanks very much for your time. <laughs>